what I'm looking at here is the ceiling. We have done a lot of work on removing old finishes and, and prior patches to uncover a stable layer. And what we have here is a few spots that we still need to do patching. But for the most part, this ceiling is in a stable condition for us to start whitewashing. So we'll be using a period appropriate whitewash. It has lime, molasses, salt, and a few other ingredients. And when we apply it to an unpainted plaster ceiling, it's really gonna make the applied, the applied moldings accentuated and make them pop and, un, and, and, and stand out in the room as, a, as a, a really high decorative detail. One of the tasks that we had to do for the ceiling was to consolidate some of the delaminating areas, places where the plaster is literally, literally just starting to peel off on certain layers. So what we did is we would apply an, a, a consolidant in, in adhesive that we could use to literally re-glue or re-stick any of the fallen layers that were delaminating off the ceiling. And all this was in, in preparation for doing a, a skim coat on certain areas that, where the plaster had completely fallen off. So part of the rep preparation of, of our work for the ceiling was to take samples, little tiny pieces of, of plaster fragments and analyze the finishes as well as the layers of, of various compounds and plasters that have been added to really understand how many areas have been patched in the, in the past, how many areas still retain the original finish. And what we have come to understand is that several parts of the ceiling still have 18 layers of between finish and other patched compounds. 